I was a bit uh, frightened by the renovation task of this place, of course. Uh, well, the two sides of the re renovation, sorry. Um, the first one was the, the building by itself. I had to be a, uh, to be a, I was not very much encouraged by my predecessor, Canon Mene, who was the pioneer. And uh, well, when I ended here, I said to myself, this is such a big building, in such a bad condition. And the second side aspect of the renovation is also the faith, of course. This is the main for the priests. Um, and, uh, but I found here a, a, a strong faith amongst uh, even a small group of people. And that was the, the second encouragement I got when I arrived. Welcome to St. Peter Paul and St. Philomena's Church. You will never believe that this church was once closed and it was opened in 2011 by Bishop Mark Davis, who invited the Institute of Christ the King to take it over. As a closed church, there was lots and lots of problems. The roof was leaking, it was damp, it was a mess. And you'd never believe that now when you come in. The church is open every day, all day, for anyone to come along. And it's wonderful. So I'm, I'm project manager here. I started off as a volunteer um, applying for funding to try and restore this church. Uh, we've had three really successful um, HLF projects so far and we've begun our fourth project which is the biggest project yet. Um, so I'd like to show you a little bit around a little bit of some of the things that we've done. First of all to restore the building and secondly the activities to engage people. So when you get a grant from Heritage Lottery Fund, then you have to engage people. Uh, that ties in really well with Canon Monjong and what they want. They want to engage people with the faith of the church. Heritage Lottery Fund want you to engage people with heritage, um, with the building. They're spending money and substantial money on restoring this unique building. Um, and so they want people to use it. So they want you to devise activities to engage people. So I'm just going to show you around the church some of the things that we've done to actually engage people. And in the process, hopefully, people will find out something about our church and our faith and be attracted to it. <laughs> Yes, the, our congregation is, uh, is growing and again in both uh, direction, I would say. So uh, we have got more uh, families with young uh, children are coming along. Uh, they found the, the restoration of the back of the church with a new area, uh, with a, a well, bed warm enough to welcome them during masses is, is good for them. Also with the family groups on uh, uh, Saturdays, once, once Saturday a month, uh, encourage them to come. And the second aspect, of course, uh, is the, uh, the dedication of the community, the congregation, to, uh, to their uh, 
their church is uh, deeper and deeper than I can see. And people even now find out after being here since the reopening of the church, the last couple of months, they suddenly find out there was still some work to do and there were still many uh, activities to prepare a cleaning of the church and, uh, and uh, widen the, uh, the message of, uh, of the Catholic Church. So originally we felt that many people out there in the secular world have forgotten what churches are for, they don't know what they're for. So we had in our budget a small amount of money for museum graphics boards, big boards. Um, but actually quite often people don't look at those big boards. So we saw um, in Pickering Castle, would you believe, a very big book of castles, which we quite liked, and we thought we could do something like that here. And they kindly let us look at their very big book, and we've kind of um, taken that idea and made this very big book of this Catholic church. So what we want to do is to try and show people what a church is for, what the altar is for, what a Catholic church is. So, and we wanted something that people would want to turn the page with. And we use this very big book now for our um, school tours. We have primary schools who come here by the class load to do World War II um, tours. They put on a hat and they pretend to be a Catholic child in the 1940s during the Blitz. Um, and they find out and they do a little bit of work on our very big book, one of the stations that they do. So they find out what is a Christian, um, who brought the faith to England, and then we go on, uh, what is a church, and we tie that in with um, a mass in the catacombs, and what is our church. Um, you would never believe how much, this, how much effort this book took to actually produce. We had a team, an education team of people who actually wrote between us, decided all the wording on this, and the photographs are our own photographs, and then we, the illustrations, um, an illustrator, French illustrator, who's actually the mother of one of the canons, gave us permission and contacted her publishers who sent us the um, permissions to use it um, under copyright. The restoration of this church was um, uh, very rooted in the in the, the history of the of the building of the faith of the local people. I found it uh, very moving to uh, put my own uh, French steps in the Irish steps of uh, of Father Mullins, who uh, was my uh, my predecessor a long time ago, of course. But I feel his presence is still active. quite a lot of baptisms in this church and the baptistry is in the correct place near the entrance of the church. The baptistry was actually done um, with the roof here was done and there's a crack in the wall that that's been repaired 
and quite a bit of the plastering has been done where we have a bit more to do uh, and the windows have been replaced here but all the marble in the church all this beautiful marble was imported in the 1930s that's during the depression so father mullins who built the church in the 1930s he was quite a maverick quite amazing really to import all this beautiful marble um, but the the baptisms that canon does now they're all in the traditional rite the baptisms with the bits of english and scouse um, in as well but we do have this area here with the, the narthex and the baptistry used quite a lot and people are coming because to have their child baptized here which is beautiful it shows that this is a growing community now Oh, uh -huh.